All right, y'all, what's up? Obadiah, can we hear any sound at all to this? Yep, there it is. It's weird, I can't really hear my mic, but, uh, and my mic is brand new, by the way. This is me testing out my new handy dandy Amazon Basics mic. Retails for like 45 bucks, and I picked it up for, I don't know, $16, I think, on sale. So check this out. This is Forza Horizon 4. It is my new favorite. This is my guy. And one of the things that they're leaning way into with Forza is this whole, like, customize your character. So see, I've got some of these unlocked. Oh, look at him. Yeah, that's okay. It's a little weird. I wouldn't dress like that in real life, but let's give him that. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it looks so ridiculous. Uh, yeah, how about that? And uh, sequin running shorts? <sighs> I don't even know if I can jokingly dress him like that. Okay. What do you, yep. Those are pretty terrible. Oh my. Oh my goodness, sir. Yep, we'll take those. Oh, look. Can you wear your hat backwards like I always do? <laughs> Dude, yes. Or a. Cr All right, let's put a let's put a crown on this guy, right? And definitely some aviators. Oh, I don't actually have those mustaches. That's not actually unlocked. A kid's watch. Oh, I don't have any gloves unlocked either. Oh, we could put him in a Bond outfit. No, I want him to look ridiculous. And they've leaned really heavy into emotes too, which I. If you want to know the truth, I, I think it's a little dumb, but shh, don't tell anybody I said that. I did, I have picked out a pretty great emote though. Now, this is Forza Horizon 4. I'm actually playing it on the Xbox One X. It's also available on the PC. Um, so here's what I've been doing. I like to play the game from this kind of like in cockpit perspective, but you miss out on how cool the cars look. So my compromise is I run between events like this and then i switch back to the cockpit view or i guess what do you call the inside of a car drift zones Hook that it a... in, flick the back end out i hate drift zones all right let's find a race let's just get into there boom brand new race right down there let's go ride the handbrake all the way through the flags this is what i live for so this the brand new one is set in the uk and i'm just going to warn you Sorry. in advance uh i've talked about it a little bit on the riot but this forza horizon is my thing dude i love forza horizon let's see. okay like well we've already done this. let's just get to the race love forza horizon did i say i love it i love it turn right I do like drift zones. Turn right. Whee! Oh, maybe I should try some drifting in the old Jeep. Here. Okay. You have arrived here comes a race. Hang on just one second. Hey, remember, you can always sound off and say what's up in the comments today. I'm here. Okay. Now, let's get our race on here, right? Oh, whoops. It's rolling backwards. So what do you got? How's the mic sound? Somebody says, shout out and let me know. I think it's got to sound better than the... I was just using the camera mic. I'm not really sure what I think about the old pop screen in my shot here, but... Dude, okay. Do you guys know what happened to me? I bought this new super cool, like, mic... Or not mic stand, but, like, stand for my webcam... You know what arrived for me in the mail today? An empty envelope. An empty envelope! Somebody stole my my mic arm or my camera arm for streaming. It's a bummer. Okay, let's pick a car. I like the F-150 Ra Raptor. I think this is a spectacular thing to race in. Love it. This is my Sunday soda. Mm. Yes. Well, I'll tell you, the Xbox One X loads a lot slower than the PC does. 
Check out my crane kick. That's my crane kick emote. <laughs> and my Santa F-150. I used to own an F-150. It wasn't a Raptor, but... I did like that truck. All right, here we go. And as I said, I really like to go to the cockpit view for these races. Dude, they've really cranked up the, like you've always had a lot of destructibility in these sports games, but it's way crazier in this one. At least I think it has been, especially, they seem to really like those uh, walls with the rocks because man, those things are everywhere. Which maybe that's just a UK thing, but you're always blowing rocks all over the place. See what I mean? <laughs> oh, the other thing I have to tell you is if you've got the option of getting this hooked up to a surround system, which obviously I'm just listening to your headphones right now, but oh my gosh, this game sounds so amazing. I got a new receiver a few months ago, and I installed some height speakers, and uh, you know it does Dolby Atmos, and this game oh, is programmed in Dolby Atmos, and it sounds so stinking good. Okay, where am I going? Through the walls? Okay. <laughs> oh no! Oh! All right, we're busting out a four as a cheat right here. Oh, we might need to go back a little farther. I don't often like to rewind, but you know what? It's in there. We're allowed. The great thing, the great thing about this is that in real life, I drive like an old lady. Like, I, I don't drive anything like this at all. That's the glorious part of Forza. So I can get all my driving angst out in one safe shot. Oh, we're jumping. Let's go. Oh, you are not going to get in front of me at the end of the race. Get out of my way. Oh, no. We are not angled. Oh, oh. How far away is that guy? He is not. Oh, he. Dude, we are going to lose this race. That did not just happen. Oh, well, I mean, second place, but still. Oh, we might have to run it. We might have to run it again. We, we might have to run that again. Come on. Uh, all right, all right. Wait. Should I go into second? Ah, what? What the heck? Let's run it one more time. This, to give you guys a better idea of what it looks like. We'll go ahead and race in uh, third person. I mean, it's fun to see your car, but I just, I, I quite frankly, I'm just not as good with the car out in front of me. And it feels like because I played inside so much, like inside the car, um, it just feels like it takes forever. For the corrections to take place when you're driving, like the turns and stuff. And I mean, that's just a matter of perspective, but it drives me a little bonkers. Yeah, get your little Jeep out of here. This is an F 150 Raptor, son. So I'm technically at a place now where the game, I, I think I'm technically not in the festival yet because the game opens up and it's like, hey, you gotta get into the Horizon Festival and I haven't done that yet. You run through the different seasons of the year and you have to get a certain amount of influence, which is kind of basically what their experience points are. and then you're invited to the festival. But Forza Horizon 3, which I still think is a spectacular game, um, you start out as the boss of the festival. 
and you're basically running around opening things up. And the way this game is set up is you're the rookie. Now, you can have the game call you like a million different nicknames, and so I had it continue to call me boss, but that's technically, as far as the game's fiction, you know, with all that Forza lore, uh, it's not correct. Okay, here we go. Now, let's be careful with these turns, because this is where we lost it last time. All right, slow her down. Watch the angle. There we go. Woo! Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Oh, dude, careful. We will take that. We will take that. Thank you. See the emotes? I... I do love the crane kick emote though. I can't I can't deny it. Soundtracks are always so funky. I also saw that a bunch of cars opened up for me in the garage, so I think I think it might be time to do a little shopping. Oh! Another way to get free cars in Horizon. One of the things I kind of don't like that they've done this time around is that the wheel spins can get you cars, but it also gets you emotes and it gets you uh, like clothes and stuff. And I, I mean, I get what they're trying to do there because I know that's the hotness with everything else, but I gotta tell you, <laughs> I really don't care. Uh, wait, let's take a look. I think we can just buy cars from here. No, we can't. Okay, I would like to go car shopping, guys. Um, can we do that from our house? I think you can do that from a house. Okay, and just for kicks, let's change our car before we go car shopping. So back in the day, in order to change a car, you had to drive to a festival location and then change a car, which was kind of a pain. Um but now you can just do it where you are and they'll deliver it. This one right here, I think has been my favorite so far. This uh, Mini Coupe Countryman, whatever. It's a uh, a rally car and I like it a lot. This Porsche Cayenne Turbo is really good. This Subaru is not bad. Oh, here we go. Let's just drive this Herbie the Love Bug around for a little bit. Oh yeah. There's some hotness right here, right? So, I mean, the game is gorgeous, man. Doesn't it look amazing? Uh, but one of the things about it is that uh, if you've never played before, they open it up so the community can create custom skins. So they deliver cars with basically, you know, standardized color schemes, and then other people can make them. And because the game's still so new, I'll have to admit, some of their customization options are not as good. Hey, here's a mansion for sale. How much is this? Uh, but the it's not as good as it will be later on because the community gets crazy. I found this place in the Lake District right on Derwent Water. We don't have I'm enough not sure you really need this many rooms, but hey, you never know. Your whole Horizon fan club might come and stay for the weekend. Thanks, Joel. That's not going to work. All right. Oh, how did we end up? How do you get out of here? Herbie the love bug is tearing up. <laughs> Dude, this beetle is so stinking slow. I thought I marked my house down here. All right, here we go. Take us on a run, love bug. Well, hellos to Eric and Eric, both to joining us this afternoon. Thanks for stopping by our stream. <laughs> Not a very impressive interior either, but that's the authentic Volkswagen Beetle feel. Look at that, dude. We are going 30 miles an hour. And I, just to let you know, I absolutely have the pedal to the metal. 
don't worry, we'll get something more exciting in 1.1 miles. What's up, Paul? Yes, I am playing Forza Horizon 4, which is, to me, my new hotness. I am loving this game. I'll tell you what, though, I'm still debating. I've got next Friday off, so it'll be worst of Riot. Uh, and I am so overwhelmingly tempted to pick up Assassin's Creed this week, even though I haven't finished Spider-Man yet. But the idea of having a day off with a completely new game sounds amazing. Of course, the other side of that is I... I could probably play Forza all day and I'd be happy. This is the problem with having birthday money. You know, it gets you all set to make poor decisions. Oh, yeah. Herbie's going 55. Okay, off to our left is a bonus board of some kind. Let's see if we can find it. See that in our little map down there? It's purple. Oh, Herbie. Can't slow down very well either, huh? We should take this love bug, it, oh, into uh, the festival scene and crank it up. See what kind of customization options we can find. Oh my gosh, can't you bust in there? You can't? Well then how do we get to that? Boom, okay. Guess you gotta find another way in. Let's see, can I break this one? Yeah, all right. If you're wondering what I'm doing, like as you go around, there are these bonus boards that you can find. See that kind of purple thing? If you look down in the map in the corner there, here we go. According to this, I'm right on it. There it is. So I just got some influence. The other boards that are out there are um, fast travel boards. And you can fast travel around the map a little bit, which after a while, you kind of want to start doing. And I think it costs about $8,000, but if you collect all the fast travel boards, like each one knocks a little bit off the price, but you could eventually fast travel for it. You have arrived at your destination. All right, let's buy some new hotness here. This is the Meadows. Samuel wants to know if you can race on the Top Gear track. I don't think that's true, man. The uh, the Top Gear track was on... It was in Gran Turismo 5, I think it was, but I haven't seen anything about it being in here. Uh, now, I could be wrong about that, but that's what I think. Um, I'll tell you what I want. I want a spectacular rally car that I drove in. Now, this is where you're going to find out I don't know a lot about cars. I just know the cars that I have fun with. Let's see about mo Rally Monsters. Let's see what that looks like. There it is, right there. This Ray Hall Letterman, 500,000. We have enough, we are buying that car. Um, William says, Spider-Man is so good. Yeah, dude, you're right. Like that Spider-Man game is spectacular, which is why it is quasi ridiculous that I would even, an error with a server. No, I want to buy this car. Hmm. I had my... I had my Xbox wired and I've gone wireless. I wonder if that's... I'm still connected. We'll give it a minute. Lance wants to know what happened to the love bug. Well, I mean... I like the love bug. I've been driving the love bug, but it's time you reach a point in life where you have to make a change. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Well, all right, look, I don't want to spend all day on this. Let's see if we are able to buy any of the other cars. It's got me connected. There I am, Riot DJ. What about this one? That is a, that particular car I was looking at. Oh yeah, something is just not right. Wonder if that's on their end or my end. All right, we'll try this one more time, but it looks like, looks like it's not gonna let us buy a car. Okay, okay. all right, we can just stick to the manufacturer's colors. 
That's fine, I'll take it. It's funky looking enough. You can also go in, like, that was just to get the, like, community stickers or different uh, designs. You can actually just go ahead and go in and get your own, or go back later and redo the designs on the car. So that's something I could do. Sandra Clark says, I remember when it was Forza 3. Yeah. For I think I played Forza 3 for a while. Now, Forza Horizon 3 is two years old, and I have played it. I mean, at the risk of sounding ridiculous, maybe as much as uh, once a week, at least, for the last two years. Like, I genuinely love that game. Oh, yeah. This thing is great. And I, no offense to Herbie, but man, comparatively. <laughs> sound like I'm playing Mario Kart. Oh, come on. I'm. <laughs> Uh, you have to stay on the road for your drifts to count. <laughs> all right, let's try. All right, we're going to give these drifts one more shot, and then we'll go find the race. Okay, that. Oh, I guess I didn't trigger the event. Oh, well. You just need to practice a little bit. Woo! That was decent. I'm really bad at drifting, actually. Excuse me. Oh. I guess they won't let you run everybody over. Now that's a real shame. Okay. Oh. Um, let's find us a race. There's a street race. I don't really like the street races very much, especially not in that drift car. What's this? A sprint. Let's go. Turn around when it is safe to do so. While it would have taken us a year to get there in Herbie, something tells me in this little dude we'll get there nice and quickly. I know real drivers wouldn't use the little arrows, but I use them. Oh, and here's the other thing I love about Horizon. Who needs the road? Woo! <laughs> oh, I just lost my spoiler. <laughs> I love the fact that you can drive just about anywhere. It's so great. Four hundred yards. Oh. Turn left. Oh, friend, we're not following the road. We're driving around. Anna around is our. When it is safe to do yeah, so. we'll turn around eventually. Now, I know that driving off-road like that is not for everyone, but it is for me! Oh, don't hit the trees! Some trees you can just... Apparently, oh! There's another classic car just waiting to be claimed. Keep that on the down low, though, yeah? I've only told you. And Kira. And Alex. And a couple of other people. Alright, we'll go try the barn fine in a little bit, but let's run a race first. Dude, this car is so squirrely. These are actually the cars that I really like to drive in this. Um, I think people who are better at this game really like precision driving, really high-end cars that are super fast. I love these cars that are all over the road. I love it. Uh, can I drive this car in the event? I can't. Now, you can make your own. Can't you? make your own event. They must be having some kind of a issue with this. Okay, here we go. No, these are other people's events. Track toys, off-road. Do I have a modern rally car? I just want to drive my car. Sprint, sprint. Super hot hatch. What about this one? Is my car eligible for this? Yes, it is. Let's do that. I guess I have a couple of them. There, check out my crane kick, dude. Wow. If do right, no can defense. Paul says this looks like a trip. Dude, I I love 
love this game. Well, I mean, I guess I love Forza 3, but I'm learning to love this one. Okay. Despite the fact that I seem to do better in third person, I like driving in first person better. Wow, this thing is fast. Oh my gosh. And I know it, like its top end speed is not fast, but it's very quick. Wow, it's awesome. Oh yeah, also I like to run into stuff. But see, that's what I like about Forza, is that it doesn't really punish you for driving like a maniac. And that's exactly how I want to drive, especially if I'm playing a driving video game. And again, I know some people are like, I want to drive with precision and shave 0.001 time off my lap. And that's cool. There's games for that. That's what the other Forza games are for. Whoa! Yeah, why not? We'll take it. I really should have slowed down and accelerated into the turn. Like that. Though I probably braked a little too hard. Oh, look at this guy behind me. He wants some. Can't have none, son. Oh, he is right on my tail. Yeah, you know, we should be tied into what they call like a, I can't remember what the word for it is, but it's basically an instance. One of the things that's separating this game from Horizon 3 is a lot of its online functionality. Mm, man, too fast. Um, and you basically get tied into an instance with 15 other drivers and you guys can race against each other. You can race together. There are all these kind of events that you can do together. And it seems like I must be having some trouble with my online connection because I should be connected and it looks like I'm not because it should have paired me up with some other drivers. Man, I just cannot catch this guy. Yeah, and I got this guy gaining on me. The top speed of the car I'm in, this is as fast as it goes. Oh, man, these straightaways are not good for this car. Well, whatever. We'll just take second place. Paul wants to know if I'm using a standard Xbox controller. Uh, I've got an Xbox Elite controller, if that matters. But yeah, I actually have a Logitech. I can't remember what the number is on it, but a Logitech racing wheel. Um, and I use it reach level 20 uh, but I'll have to admit I've gotten a lot lazier like I really like that wheel but man I just play a lot of a lot of games on my couch um, and that's one of the beauties of the Xbox play anywhere stuff is if you buy an Xbox like Microsoft first party game nice and you buy it digitally, you get it for your Xbox and your PC. And so I end up playing a lot of games on my Xbox because I'm lazy. Though, dude, I put a, I bought a 25 foot HDMI cable and I run it to a TV away from my computer. That's hey, a great boss. way to play too. Do me a favor. We're trying to shine a light on the best. Hey boss. You've made it Paul Paul Horizon says, roster. where did you get your license? How could you not, given all that you've done here in the last Cracker year? Jack box. Meet me at the festival and we'll get you your wristband. Okay. Oh, here we go. Best blueprint routes at Horizon. A recommendation from a driver like you could really raise someone's profile. Oh, yeah. My recommendation is really going to raise your profile. And again, you can play from all kinds of perspectives. I mean, like that, oh boy, that would take some getting used to. Horizon, listen up, it's time I, for another. I love this DJ too. Hey, me. Here we go. I would hire her and put her on Radio View in a heartbeat. To round three. The big pulse party tonight is kicking off at 7 p.m. sharp. 
And there is a new taco truck just behind the main stage. Did you hear her say tacos? Taco. Order, I'll leave you to decide. Amy certainly knows what she ah, thinks. You know what? A little shortcut. Whoa! Oh, that's... I just, I love being able to drive in here. Paul says she sounds like Scary Spice. You know what? I don't care what she sounds like. I'm telling you. I, she would be amazing on Radio U. Yeah. That British accent. I'm Amy. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Let's keep going. So I guess in this game, the festival only has one location. Uh, because in Forza Horizon 3, you were constantly opening up like, new festival locations. I don't really do that here. Instead, you buy houses. Hey, boss. Congratulations on making the Horizon roster. But this is just the start. From now on, you'll be sharing the experience with all the other drivers who've made the cut. Get out there and say hi, because everything can be done with a convoy of up to six drivers. What you really want is a gold wristband. An honor we only offer to the real superstars cool. of the festival. People like Alex and Rebecca, those who are the very best at what they do. Now, just who gets a gold wristband is up to me and all those thousands of well, Screaming well. Horizon fans. So, what are you waiting for? I guess I'm waiting for us to start. Oh, and Forzathon is back. This time with new challenges every day and every season. Offering okay. the chance to win the very best rewards at Horizon. That's not what are the every very hour best rewards? on the hour, Forza Upon Live invites you to team up with other roster drivers to take on some of the most exciting challenges at Horizon. Okay. If you're I'm after something you, more competitive, team adventure pits two teams of six against each other. Make it racing only for pure racing, games only to compete in playground games, or anything goes for a mix of the two. Form a team with your friends and take on all comers. And when you're ready, enter ranked events and join a league for some of the fiercest competition at Horizon. Okay. All wants to know where the llamas are. That's a good question. All right, it's summer. Hey, boss. The new summer season is here. Beck is so proud of this summer race program. I just did the poster, but I think it's quite good, too. Cheeky Lambos. <laughs> Supercars on the sea. 007 Spectre. Be a kite dancing in a hurricane. Wow. We're going to have to go see what that's about. Summer season, summer events, summer rewards. This is what Horizon does best. All right. Well, talk to me about... Let's see. Well, right, but which seasonal championship is that? I want to do the James Bond one. Is that it? Welcome to Edinburgh. Oh, okay, it's just a speed camera, but Greendale Super Sprint. All right, well, this is all part of that. I'm probably going to have to buy a new car to compete in those. Well, you know what? This one's right here. I don't know what this is, but let's go do it. This car may not be the best option for that, but boy, it is fun to drive. In 400 Ooh. yards, turn left. <laughs> I am not a good driver. But you know, it's just for the good times. running into the trees. See, some of the trees, they don't mind the attention, but some of them, not so much. You have arrived at your destination. Have I? Hey, boss. Great to see you've come down to check out your first seasonal championship. We've added some challenges to mix things up a bit. Dude, Can't the buggy bash. I don't think you, I right? have a buggy yet. 
but we'll have to buy one. Ah, spring. The season of new life and new beginnings. Oh, and new championships, of course. <laughs> okay, this is the only car that I can buy? Whatever. We'll take it. Hello, Troy. Pro, I don't care if I hit the wall. Let's see. <laughs> that is... <laughs> What a weird option. A Curse of Michael Myers car. I, whatever. That's so, that's so weird. Why not? Whatever. Uh, Troy, this game uh, is available on the PC and the Xbox. And right now I'm playing it on the Xbox. The crane kick beside the Halloween, <laughs> the curse of Michael Myers car. It's so weird. Okay. Oh, and his face, <laughs> his face is on it. Now, how come all of these guys got to, like they got to pick from all kinds of cars, or at least I guess a beetle. Oh, this car does, it is not, it does not accelerate very fast. I can tell you that. The other thing I like about driving from inside the car is that it feels so much faster and everything is so much more sudden because you just, you don't know what's going on. Wow, this is a short race. Yeah! So thanks for hanging out with me this afternoon while we play one of my new favorite games. And I also would like to say that I did not have to buy this. This game was provided with a code from Microsoft, but I'm not shilling. I have every plan on buying it because as I have said many times, oh gosh, Forza Horizon 3 is my love language. Okay, you see there where I just got a uh, experience point or whatever? That can actually be used for, like you can put experience points into cars, which is fascinating. So you can actually level up, kind of level up, or get perks to the cars that you drive. So it's not just the driver or different things overall, like it's to individual cars. But, I, I guess my initial thought was like, well, that's great. Then I'll end up driving three or four cars, but you get those perk points a lot. Oh, this guy, look at him. I see you. I see what you're up to. No offense, but we don't want you to win a race. That would be ridiculous. Oh, yeah, you just hit me. Oh, you did not just do that. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, and we're just going to scream across the finish. Oh, no, you do not. No, you do not. <laughs> I can't believe that I have a Halloween car. That is the dumbest. Yeah, Troy, they gave me... I have the whole thing. Uh, what are they called? Whatever the ultimate edition is or whatever. If you have that, you can play this weekend. And then I think like it opens up for everybody on Tuesday. Of course, if you buy it. And hey, look, the sun has come in my window. If you're wondering what this is, this is what I call Sunday soda. I don't allow myself to drink soda like crazy all the time like I used to. But on Saturday or Sunday in the afternoon, I let myself go get some soap. Okay, let's find our next race. Whoa, it's starting to get crowded. You get, let's go check out a barn find. A barn find is where you find a classic car. Safe to do so. Oh, there it is. Uh, and then they restore it or whatever, and you can race with it later. Looks like there's another yards. race we could do. Turn left. 
Turn left. But I'll show you something else that is new in this version, or in Forza Horizon 4. And hey, tell me something, because I can't, I can't hear it right away. Like, how does the microphone that I'm using sound? If you would take a second and hit me up in the comments and let me know how it sounds, I would be appreciative. In 400 yards, Sunday soda, unsweetened tea. No, it is not unsweetened tea. It's Diet Mountain Dew. Oh, you know, what are we doing? Just head across the field here. Okay, so are we in the zone yet? Here's something new that you can do. They have... No, not that. Here's what we want. Drone mode. So check this out. It sounds like there's a little bit of an echo. And I'm probably not close enough. And <laughs> I'm kind of loud. So I think that might be part of the problem. I need to tweak it a little more. So right now I'm flying around with my drone. And I'm looking for the barn. Where we'll be able to find our classic car. Now, you can, of course, just drive around and do this, but I thought I would show you guys what drone mode looked like. The only thing I don't like about drone mode is that you can't exactly, you can't fly as high as I would like you to fly. I think that's the basic. I would almost like to have an airplane or a helicopter to fly across the landscape. It doesn't work that way. Oh. There's a new event, a danger sign. Maybe we'll hit that on our way. Does anybody see the barn yet? Hello? Barn. Actually, I think some of these barn finds are kind of tough. They do a good job of hiding. Some of them are easy, but like I've had a couple that I've really roamed around. Oh, what is that? That's a... Uh, well, that's what's left of the building, but that doesn't count. Oh, we found a new bonus board. Come back and snag that. Hmm. Doesn't this look like a nice place for a barn? <laughs> you guys know where we can find the barn? Uh, well, wait, what's that? Also not a barn. And that's outside the zone, okay. Uh, and seriously, are we going to go all over this place and not find it? Maybe this? Nah, that's not gonna count. It'll pop up using the drone. It would pop up on the, uh, like on the map, mini map as an icon if we find the barn. But this is drone mode in Forza Horizon 4. We're looking. Dude, but wait, 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 what do we got here? That's not, the barns look like old, like silos or something. They, they've they got these rounded tops. Man, you guys are killing me. Where is this thing? <laughs> it's starting to not feel worth it. bit more but it's getting to be a little snooze festy here guys and now you'll know why if you open up my forza horizon 3 map there are barn finds all over the map that i have not gone looking for oh, where is it Well, 
Okay. Have you guys seen a barn? Let's see. Nick wants to know. Let's see. You do know you can walk around in the woods in real life and it's better. No. Can you get out of the car? I, like, I did not know that was true. Oh, wait. You mean, like, in real life? Really? Like, that's that's what you're bringing, Nate? That I could go walking in the woods in real life? Come on. Of course I know that. I went running in the woods yesterday. 200 yards. You know, it is possible to spend time outside and have fun and also play video games. These are not mutually exclusive conditions. Uh, let's see. You know what? Let's go do that danger sign. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Uh, let's see. Paul says the $60 standard edition. I'm downloading the demo. Yeah, the dude. The demo shows very, very well. It is cool. Turn around when it is safe to do so. The game kind of opens on the demo. And the demo, dude. There's so much to do in the demo. It's crazy. Coming to you live. I was actually surprised by how long the demo goes on. Guys, you're back on Pulse. Uh, now, I'm looking over the Horizon Summer Seasonals that have just gone live, and I'm seeing some new seasonals and trials. Those all sound very cool. But where are the summer events for the So I guess I didn't correctly... Ah, eh, whatever. Let's go race something. Really planning on I feel like they've really upped the like damage physics and stuff. That ended up just disappearing, disappearing, but you'll have stuff that will like hang out on your car for a long time. And I feel like that stuff used to just disappear. Let's see. Oh, this is. That's cool. This is the... No, we don't want to quit our current championship. But that's the quarry scene from Spectre. Well, what was that? Quantum of Solace? But still, that's cool. Um, one of the little, like, best things I ever learned about... Oh, is it on here? Can't you just go to current championship? It gets so crowded on the map. Oh, I cannot believe they do not have that included. Just a current championship option. Oh, that's that is not good, guys. I <laughs> I need that current champ. Maybe is that off-road buggies? Maybe or did I already do that one? Is that why it's white? I don't know. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Wait, Turn let's around. see if Anna will when set a... To do so. Hey, boss. Can I interest you in a Forzathon live event starting soon? Okay, boss. I have set your route to a new race in the Horizon Road Racing Series. Okay, Anna found us a race. Or we can go to Forzathon Live. Let's okay, go do boss. that. I've updated your route to the Forzathon Live event now. In 100 yards, turn left. Maybe I will. I actually don't know what you do in a Ford to live event. Huh. John says, find the radio use station in the car. I'm sorry to tell you they don't have one. They do have some other ones. Including, wait for it. Oh, wait, what happened to... Oh, it's the timeless station. In the Hall of the Mountain King. If it. 100%. Claire DeLune. Perfect. Perfect. What was the movie trailer that we just saw that was set to this? That was, it was like really fun. Oh, it was Godzilla. That's what it was. Oh, my gosh, yeah. That new Godzilla trailer set to Claire de Lune is spectacular. 
You guys know how I feel about Godzilla, right? Recalculating route. Why? Oh, did I miss the turn? Okay. That's fine. We'll just go this way. In 100 yards, turn left. Oh, man, I am the best at running into that. Yards. Turn left. Okay, so I guess this like pink circle is this Forts of the Bond? Live will begin shortly. Good luck. All right. Then you know what? Let's get a different car for Forts of the Bond. I don't know if it'll force us into a different car. Sure did like that thing, the Ray Hall Letterman Lanigan. That Civic is pretty fun. That Jeep, let's get in the Jeep. This Jeep is actually a lot of fun to drive. You have arrived early. Fortsathon Live will begin soon. Well, guys, we got two minutes to kill. I don't know what happens at Bones of Bones, so this will be my first one. Practicing our drifts, though. You know, I see a little screen tearing there. That's kind of, that's some of the first I've seen. Uh, one of the cool things with the Xbox One X is that you can run 60 frames a second uh, in 1080p, or you can run at a 30 frames a second in 4K. Uh, and I, I'm really a frame rate guy, so I have been playing I've got a 4K TV, but I still play in 1080p. Hey, look, here's all my other friends that aren't really my friends. They have fast cars. <laughs> I wonder if they know something we don't know. I guess we'll find out, right? All right. The clock is ticking. Oh, so we can chat. <laughs> I just said hi to everybody. They are so much higher level than I am. Yeah, well, I've been busy. All right. Fortress on live, starting in five, whoa, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Oh, he's got a cop go. car. That's awesome. What Round do we do? Start it. Get into the Turn speed zone when it is safe to do so. Summertime at Horizon. So it would blue, seem that birds are singing, I'm having the wrong, the wrong kind, the kind of car. Want to come find one with me? Oh, they are all driving very fast cars. Whee! Hey, I'm not the only one that didn't make that turn. I feel good about that. In 400 yards, turn right. Turn right. Wow! Look at that guy go! I really should have brought a different car, huh? Wow, that was awesome. Uh, you know what? Let's get a score in the speed zone and maybe change cars. I'm going to be bringing down the average big time. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm not the only one that's spinning out. Earn a score in the speed zone. I can do that. <laughs> uh, guys, you have to stay on the road to still get a score. Turn around when 
it is safe to do so. All right. So, I, do I get more points if I run back through the speed zone? I want to help my team. This actually kind of reminds me, I don't know if you guys ever played Burnout Paradise, but Burnout Paradise multiplayer events were amazing because it would be some of the funkiest stuff. Like, everybody had to do a spinning barrel roll through some something that was hanging. And everyone had to be able to do it. Another lovely they were summer's day here seriously on amazing. Scale. It was so much fun. Hell Especially if you could find argument. a group of friends to play with. Penciled us in to visit a genuine These are my fake friends from the museum internet. Today. Mrs. Thompson says we should instead go river cubing. I mean, yes, I can see it's lovely weather, but now I really think the coin museum is the more exciting option here, isn't it? Round one complete! Get to round two! So is that is that the whole thing? We're just gonna keep doing this. So the whole event is only 12 minutes. You know what? We can do that. Why not, right? I don't care about the bar fine. I also feel like somebody's getting married right now. We got something else. And I need to swap out my car. Whoa. The blimp is cool. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Let's see if it'll let me get a new car. In the middle of Forzathon. Um, I want something fast, but something I can actually control. Maybe that Mercedes. Do I have any supercars at all? I don't. Well, wait. We'll take this Vantage. That's. I think that's pretty fast. I haven't exactly shopped for that. Turn around when it is safe to do so. All right, where am I supposed to go? Oh, that was... Okay. I see. For a second, I was thinking that was a speed camera. Come on, Vantage. Bring it. Oh! Boy, this thing is squirrely for a different reason. that I actually went that much faster in the Vantage than I did in the, uh... Round two, two complete. complete! Get, Get to, to round, round three! Uh, than I did in the Jeep? Maybe I should have given it more time. Meaning, like, a little more space for me to rev into a higher end. I mean, yeah, look at that. It's We're topped out at about 130 miles an hour. That is not that fast. Oh, it does not corner, I can tell you that. Jeez. Oh, look out, sheep. <laughs> now, I'll bet my Jeep would have... Oh my gosh, come on, man. Make the turn, make the turn. You know, it's funny, with all these other racers out there, you feel this pressure to both succeed and be driving a better car. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, look at... Dude. Okay. Okay. So these guys really get some speed up. Alright, 
So yeah, as I was saying earlier, it really, really reminds me of some of the multiplayer challenges in Burnout. Uh, Bur Paradise, Paradise City, yeah. Is it Burnout? No, it's just Burnout Paradise. And they played the Guns N' Roses song Paradise City at the beginning. But um, that was such a great game. And the multiplayer stuff in that is so good. And this is very similar. But they've done a way better job of like pairing you with people. Safe to do so. Ooh. Does not slow down very fast. Let's see. Let's see what our top speed is here, because I'm not seeing this thing going a whole lot faster than 130. Oh, uh, we hit 140. All right. Nice yellow flowers is. Wow, did you see that guy? Holy crap, he went far. Oh, yeah, we we got to get a better car. I don't think I can buy a car in the middle of the Forza Thumb, but I'll tell you right now, it is time. You know what? I'm sorry, team. I'm getting another car. What do you got for me down here? That's a rare. This is a legendary. What's its top? About the same top speed. Or, well... There we go, that Volkswagen <laughs> van. That'd be great. Round three complete. Congratulations. Uh, all right. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> I love it. I'm so sorry for the people that are hanging or that are uh, with me because I keep changing cars. All right. Is that, was that it? That must be it. So I guess there's only three rounds of Forza-Thon. Now you get forza -thon points, which you can spend. Um, no, this is like the, hey, actually buy things. I wonder where you can do that at. Stunt driver, team adventure. Huh, I don't know. I'll screw around with that later. Got some wheel spins though, check this out. This is where they tap into your inner gambler and try to make you spend money like this is a uh, free to play game. Now, of course, you can't spend money like that yet. Or maybe never. Oh, good. Look guys, I got jogging pants instead of $100,000. Great. Great. Come on, give me the money. Oh. I expect to see those dance moves next time you're on the podium. I got an emote. Practice or try new ones. Hooray. All right. We got a legendary horn. You, yeah, you can change out your horn. Where do you do that? I don't remember. Do you have to, you might have to do that at the, uh, Um, boy, can't think. Good job, me. Uh, at one of your People houses, that's what I meant to, me to say. Asking whether or not you hacked the speed zone data. Should have seen their faces when I told them your scores were real. Fancy proving them wrong again? Fancy proof. Signs. I mean, how'd you do it? You're absolutely nailing them, and some are pretty scary, too. You up for doing some more? Yeah, can you show me the this season? Is it. World's fastest. Something I've always wanted to do. Sure, it's a business, but I like to think it's a way for anyone to experience the horizon life. And it's an excuse for you to drive some incredible hypercars. Okay. Okay. What about those other seasonal events that we were looking at? Uh, wait, 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 wait. That's a toggle my activity panel? I don't know. You know what? Maybe the animal will find us our next race. Okay, boss. 
I have set your route to a new race in the Horizon Dirt Racing Series. Okay, that's the series that we're in, I think. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Oh no, Anna, this is a dirt race, so we're gonna hit the dirt on our way over there. Recalculating route. In 200 yards, turn left. In 100 Whoa. yards, Oh, church! Right. Well, it is Sunday. Was there a... There's a bonus board around here somewhere. Might be on top of the church. They do that. You've got to like, some of those bonus boards are straight up like, uh, oh, what do you call it? Uh, sorry guys, my brain is leaving me. You know what, speaking of church, I actually spoke at my church this morning. So if you feel like you're not getting enough of me, I actually posted it and tweeted it. Oh, I don't know, it's over here. Um, but yeah, talked about depression, because that's a thing for me. So if you want to hear that, you can find it. All right, here we go. I hope this is the same series. No, this is a different. Uh, I don't know, we'll see, right? I like the color of the Jeep green yellow. Well, this is, well, yes, it's a Jurassic Park. They also, like somebody made a classic. Oh, you know what? I should have gotten in that X-Raid. I do like that car better. All right, here we go. The Mini Coupe. I love that Mini Coupe. I haven't bought any of those trucks though. That Ford that Ben Sanborn is driving, which that's not really him, that's just his avatar or his drive avatar, but that actually is a spectacular car. I drove one of those a lot in uh, Horizon 3. Can't remember what kind of truck it technically is, but it's fantastic. But as I've told you, I like the off-road stuff better because it's sloppy. I love driving slop. Just because it's fun. One of my all-time favorite, like if you want to get into just Forza Horizon stuff I love, for Horizon 2, they had a, I don't remember what it was called, but it was one of the DLC packs that was an off-road DLC pack or something. And I, uh, they had Storm Island and an off-road one. And I didn't care that much for Storm Island, like it was okay. But man, the, whatever the heck that was, the off-road one, that is easily probably some of my favorite racing game stuff I've ever seen. I love that. Uh, because something they didn't do in Forza Horizon 3 that they did in 2 was that they came out with, like, those off-road races, they, they would put, oh, you know what, let's just let's slop that a, like a little less. Um, but they would put you in this grass that was so tall, you didn't know what the heck you were doing. And there was something really fun about that just insanity. Oh, we gotta slow down some more. Whee! All right, we're kind of getting the hang of this here. Try it again. Come on. Okay. There we go. It's. A, I'll tell you what, dude. It's those long straightaways. I always overestimate 
how good my car is going to stop. I did it again! I know the rewinding is kind of lame, but it's funny, that really... Being willing to do a little rewinding teaches you a whole lot about how your car handles and just kind of, you know, getting the opportunity to nail certain turns over and over again. It gives you a chance to be a better driver. That was... Forza was the first game I ever played. I think it was the original maybe that ever had rewind in it. I'd never seen that in a racing game before. And man, the ability to fix a mistake without having to run the entire race over again, that's glorious. Oh, come on. Almost done. They're back there. Boom. Uh, stretch. You know what, guys? I got a couple of races left in me. <laughs> Look at my ridiculous outfit. Hmm. Oh, I mean, it is 4 o'clock on a Sunday afternoon. Sometimes you gotta take a whittle nap, you know? How it is, you take a nap? No, I'm not taking a nap today, but... Okay, what is this gold? Why is that barn find gold? Is it the... No, there's something special about that one. Let's get... Oh, man. <laughs> maybe, maybe we don't want to do a barn find. You know, Anna, find us a race. Okay, boss. I have plotted your route to a new race in the Horizon Dirt Racing Series. All right, well, that's the series that we're in, the Horizon Dirt Racing Series. In 400 oh, wait. yards. Did she actually do that? Yeah, okay. Well, you know what? This time we're going to race in our M&M's car. No, I'm probably going to end up finding out. I can't remember if I swapped out this Jeep for that M&M's car, or if I got the M&M's car swapped out for the Jeep. Welcome back I think the Jeep might actually be a faster here, car. Wishing the best of luck to our own Joel Carter with his new world's fastest business. Joel, mate, you know love the fastest. I mean, I've been around Horizon for a long time, and I've seen some pretty fast things. You must have some Amy's seen some pretty up. fast but things. I, I love her voice, dude. I love her voice. Uh, right, this is the... What we're still in, right? All right, here we go. The X-Raid, all four racing coupe. Got my mini jacked up. Kind of faster. Oh, look, look at you. You can't see it, but I got my M&M car. See, it's nice. I have a tendency to not show a lot of respect to the car and get the weirdest craziest skin for the car that I can find. Oh yeah, look at that. We're this thing is topped out at 95 miles per hour. Oh, not good. Not good. We we are never going to catch these people. 95 miles an hour. Come on. And then pretty soon you start singing the weird soundtrack you've ever heard. Look out. Come on. Well, 
See, this is where you know the game's AI is cutting you some slack when all of the sudden these guys are all within reach. Hey, look, do you see that Stick Nutsman's Drivatar? That's Nick, our news guy from Radio U. That's his Drivatar. Hey, Nick, you suck. You suck, Nick. You suck. Ah, I'm pushing you over, Nick. <laughs> That's not actual Nick. That's a digital representation. Nick's Xbox captured a piece of his soul and buried it in there. I'm angry at that piece of Nick's soul, but not the rest of Nick. The rest of Nick is fine. Oh, man, it's just painful to hear this thing not accelerating. No, this is a poor, poor choice for this race. And it seems to me that I might have taken this car in to tune it up, and I don't think I could get its top speed to go any higher. Like, I could get it to accelerate faster off the line and stuff, but, like, its top speed, that was it. I know enough about cars to be dangerous, meaning you wouldn't want me to fix yours. So like when I go in to tune them up, I'm just like, I'll buy the good everything and make it as fast as possible. Though, if you ever play these games, you'll see like, you don't want, I don't want to say, like you, sometimes you want to keep your car in a certain class. And so that means you kind of have to play fast and loose with the numbers because you don't want it to be, like you don't want your car to get too good. else think some m &Ms sound really good real talk my friends at church i was saying i spoke today which was cool and they uh they got me a basket of m &Ms, york peppermint patties and um the little orange pumpkins i love those pumpkins dude but as i have been saying i'm taking this friday off Mickey and I are both off this Friday, so if you're going to tune into the riot, you're going to notice that it's a worst of the riot, and uh, I'm going to be home all day, and I'm just taking the day off, and I'm trying to decide if I'm going to spend the day playing the new Assassin's Creed, which I am seriously considering, or if I should just play Spider-Man. I am not going to catch this guy. Maybe I am. Ha <laughs> ha! That's kind of me cheating. But as long as I touch the flag, it counts. Oh no! Ah, see, you get greedy. You get greedy. And that's what I did. Too greedy. We gotta slow this thing down a little bit. Come on, come on, still not really making that turn. Shoot, that's the kind of stuff that you lose on at the end, blowing a turn like that. There we go. James, that's a great question. I'll just tell you that that is, he wants to know if there's a plane or a peanut in that car. If you look, there's plane and peanut. Because I wanted Nikki to come with me, too. Uh, you know what, guys? Give me a second. I want to play around with this microphone just a little. Oh, sorry about that. If you're just getting with this, I... Oh, wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, no, that's not what I want. Uh... I bought, this is so ridiculous. Yeah, that actually might be a little better. That may, it might even sound a little better. Um, I bought a wonderful new arm to hang my streaming camera on and it got stolen in the mail. I have a big open this envelope Amy, now. You're Not cool, Pulse, man. And we've just had word from uh, let's see. Let's take a couple more. Maybe we'll finish Three out this down, series. An amazing performance by our drivers. Okay, boss. Congratulations. I have plotted your route to a new street race for you to do at the festival. No, I don't. I don't want a new street race. I want to finish out this series. Did I? 
did I finish it and I just wasn't paying attention when that happened? Maybe. Uh, I want to do another one of the seasonal championships. They need to take like this. When you finish a race, oh, just the exhibition is completed. So that means there's races to come in that series. Okay. Is this one of the seasonal? All right, let's go check that out. Around when it is safe to do so. Okay, so now that I have changed my mic, does that sound any better? In 200 yards. What about you, Troy? You were the one that noticed an echo. Are those adjustments better or worse? Come on, come around the corner. What's up to Shane, Robert, and Ryan? Thanks for hanging for some Forza Horizon 4 this afternoon. Well, I'll tell you what, as much as I like the looks of this car, we will not be driving this car in the upcoming race. Another thing I'll have to say that I like about the Xbox that's pretty great is I don't think they call it HD Rumble. I think that's just something they, a phrase they use on the Switch, but the Xbox One has uh, individual vi uh, like vibrations coming from the triggers. So you can get vibration on the left trigger or the right trigger with an Xbox One controller. And that's pretty fantastic because it'll give you some extra sensation like on where your wheels are in the car. That's cool, guys. Okay. Here we come, race. You have arrived at your destination. We sure have. Place third against average drivatars. Place first against highly skilled. I don't think. I don't think we. I'm running highly skilled avatars My or drivatars right now. You should have updated your schedule for this summer championship. Have fun out there. I like that car very much. Let's see. Is there any? Oh. So they wouldn't let us buy another one. That's why we ended up with that car. Okay. I love that crane kick stuff, dude. It's so cool. <laughs> uh, maybe it's just me, but I like it. All right, let's get in our <laughs> Halloween Curse of Michael Myers painted car. It's so stupid. Okay. Yeah, let's race from back here. We don't, don't normally race from this perspective in the car. Oh, look at this guy. Was that Nick's drive guitar again? K. Wool, that's another friend of mine who is not currently playing, but there's his drive guitar. What's up, buddy? We should text Kevin and see what he's doing. Dude, these guys are smoking me in this race. And look at that little beetle. What? You know what that tells me? That, that okay, that beetle right there, that one that's really souped up, that's a great, that's one you can just buy straight out of the gate. That's a great car. But they just seem to have a regular Volkswagen that they've souped up. We might need to do a little looking at that because I do like the looks of that car zooming around the track. All right, third place. Come on. Uh, 
All right. If you're just hanging with us, this is Forza Horizon 4, if you didn't catch the title, and it's so good. And to be honest, like, I guess they're not selling Forza Horizon 2 anymore, unless you want to buy a hard copy of that for the Xbox. That's a great game. But uh, Forza Horizon 3 is probably one of my favorite games of all time. And this game feels just like... Oh, that was a poor choice. It just feels like more of that. Uh, they've kind of refined some of the things that made that game work. Um, I know they're very excited about the Seasons model. I, I get it, but one of the things that I was so excited about with Forza Horizon 3 is that it was this beautiful Australian setting. And in the middle of the winter, you could go driving in a really nice, sunny environment. Uh, and now we're going to be facing winter where there's actually winter, which doesn't sound as cool to me. Let me see this. See how that works. Like I said, still got a new mic, still playing around with it. And I like it, I think. I'll tell you this, as a radio guy, there's something fantastic about getting a microphone. You just love it. What's up, Christian? How are you? And Ryan and Robert and I believe Shane, if I haven't said hi, thanks for stopping by and hanging with me this afternoon. I'm singing a song, I don't know. I missed a checkpoint phrase. I should have paid more attention to the rewards I was getting. I know getting. they say the destination is not as important as the journey, but here are a bunch of new destinations from which to start journeys. Okay. Let's start round six, shall we? Well, I want to stay in this seasonal event, Alex, but thank you for the invite. Let's see. Okay. Though, that is something that is cool, though. I mean, it is a live game, so they're going to be updated, including the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, man, my brain is, all oh, the, like, events for each season. Wow, look out. Okay, okay, don't hit the trees. You can have all the fun you want, just please don't hit the trees. Look out. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Why should we turn around when it's right in front of us? Whoa, look out. Excuse us, sorry. I'm sorry. We're s I'm sorry. Oh, ah. oh, it happens. Sometimes you just hit a tree. What's up, Harold? Thanks for stopping by. Okay. Whatever. We're in. Hello to Troy. Thank you for hanging out with us this afternoon. So, yes, I have chosen the crane kick as my emote. There are a lot of options, and I'm going to be honest, a lot of them are really stupid. But, I mean, I like the really stupid paint jobs, so is it fair for me to whine about how stupid the emotes get? Probably not. Look out. Are you for real right now? <laughs> so all that stuff breaks, but the little plastic thing there did not break. Okay. Look, not everything can be destructible. I get it. But sometimes it's hard to know what is and isn't. That. I want that little beetle. The one that Puma 5107 is racing in. We are getting one of those and souping it up. Let me tell you. Oh, we're breaking a 
lot of things. Of course, everything you break, you lose just a little bit of speed. Man, look at the huge gap between me in fourth place and two and one. We are not gonna catch them unless there are a lot of turns coming up. Never catching those guys. How did they get so far ahead? Oh, not good. Hey, thanks for breaking that open for me. Draft this guy a little bit if he's gonna keep breaking stuff. Oh, can we at least get third place? Gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Boy, whatever advantage I picked up from, uh, can I, oh, and it won't let me rewind. Oh, because other, oh guys, oh my gosh. Do you see that? Do you see that ninth place? Uh, we gotta run it again. No way, I can't, I can take maybe fourth place, but I can't take ninth place. Come on. All right. All right. Still, so, for those of you that haven't gotten are new here, I'm still playing with my mic, so I'm trying to figure out just where is the right spot for this thing. <laughs> Maybe. In reality, it may not be making that much of a difference. Okay, here we go. Back to the race. Ooh. Sometimes, oh yeah, sometimes you really have to... And you know it's just the way the AI is screwing around with you, but if you don't get into the top three spots very quickly, the game starts to have you competing with like five, six, and seven instead of one, two, and three. So like, see, now that we've managed to get into second place so early in the game, or early in the race, unless like we do something catastrophically bad, which obviously happens, um, We'll just be fighting with these guys for the rest of the race. We're gonna borrow this guy's breaking of things. I'm just wondering how much is it worth it? Well, I don't know. Like, I broke that stuff, and he definitely pulled ahead of me. Hey, guys. Guys, I'm supposed to win. Don't, don't guys, don't, like, start winning. I, I'm supposed to. Here we go. We're almost there. Just got to hold it together through those two water obstacles. Boy, you know, it's really important how you enter an obstacle, but it's almost as important, if not more, how you exit the obstacle. See? Oh, man. 
Yeah, like ending up over here. I really need to be over there. The water is uh, shallower and there's a little bit less. And that makes a big difference. Oh, well, we'll take second place. I don't think, I mean, there might have been a couple places where I could have raced a little bit better. You got it? Uh, Troy keeps saying my app crashed. This is Forza Horizon 4. It's for the Xbox One, and it's for the uh, PC. And I think I'm going to finish this series and then wrap it up. Yeah, we'll give a like to this as design. What's left in the series? One is it just one more race? Yeah, let's do it. We'll do one more race, then I gotta bust out. Ah, oh, three miles to the stupid race. and keep spinning tunes for me, okay? Whoa, whoa, okay. He's a, he's a good driver. The boy is a good driver. Turn left. You know what I have for lunch today? chicken McNuggets because I decided that I've been wanting chicken McNuggets for like three weeks and I never go get them but I was like bro it's McNugget day like this is happening I went to the world's slowest yes. McDonald's I for real I think I waited in line at McDonald's for 25 minutes which just goes to show you how much I must have wanted those McNuggets right or how much I need to adjust my priorities either way like, I'm, I'm comfortable with either one of those statements. All right, now we gotta climb these British hills. Oh! Pay attention. Yeah, see, I love that the rumble from control or to from trigger to trigger and how you get you know like here depending on what's going on either the left or the right trigger is rumbling and do it at your destination i kind of balked at it when they announced it but i'm telling you it really adds to the immersion of these racing games i don't know that i've ever noticed it much in like a uh, a shooter or something but you have arrived at your destination uh, Chris wants to know if this is the full game or the demo. This is the full game, actually. And uh, just to be clear, we got a code from Microsoft for the unlock of this game. So, but I will tell you, I would have bought it anyway because I'm a Forza Horizon super fan. And that's some real talk. All right, last race in this seasonal race that they've got going here. Now those chicken McNuggets are basically like Chinese food, right? Because I'm starving. And that was like three hours ago that I ate. Look out, Joe, I'm coming through.
Yeah, I still feel like the, you know, obstacles like that, with, especially with the water, I just feel like I'm not really sure where is the best place for me to attack that water. Hey y'all, I'm coming. This is like a there was a bonus, but I think I gotta be above third place in every race and I Well, maybe. You know what I don't see is that red Volkswagen that I couldn't get quite through in the last few races, but I don't think I've seen him this time at all. Now we're not laughing, but that feels like a laugh. These guys are racing the same thing I am. And I, again, I think for this racing series, you have to get a stock. I don't think it was letting you. Yeah, go ahead, Nick. Break through that for me. Thank you. Do it again. See, it's giving me points for draft. Oh, oh, I'm still drafting him. Yes. Oh, no, there's the finish line. <sighs> All right, so is that the end of the that's the end of the series, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, so I'm not I'm not racing against expert driving cars. I don't feel bad about that though. Level 23. Do I get anything for that? I should have some wheel spins if you guys want to go see if I can get anything out of these wheel spins. Yeah, there we go. Man, seriously? <laughs> Another stupid clothing item? Oh my gosh. How about a money or a car? Like some money or a car. The If you get the VIP wheel spins or whatever, there are three things. And the other day, I got three green pieces of clothing out of that. It's just like, man, come on. All right, two wheel spins. Let's take them. Now, I dare you to give me something I want. Finally. Now, now we're getting somewhere. Give me that Corvette. Or, you know what? That we'll take the right Porsche. That is one of the rarest cars at the festival. What can I say? When you play the wheel at Horizon, you don't go home with a goldfish. Does anybody feel like they heard me? Anybody? Like, they were like, uh-oh. Everybody's watching. You better do something. So, all right, guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for spending some time with us here at Radio U and Obadiah Plays. Remember, I'm back on the air tomorrow morning. Uh, that'll be happening from 6 to noon Eastern. You can find us on the Radio U app or where else? RadioU.com or over the air wherever fine Radio U is sold. Bye-bye.